The conflict in Karabakh. Karabakh has a long history of ethnic and territorial disputes. In 1828, 82% of Armenia was either Azeri or Tatar. Only 17% were Armenians. After the World War I, many Armenians, either from Turkey or Syria, moved to Armenia and population shift started. Many Azeris were deported by Armenians and Soviet Union to current Azerbaijan. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, Armenia launched a military campaign against Azerbaijan that lasted until 1994. As a result, Armenia occupied 20% of the Azerbaijan's internationally recognized territories. 30,000 ethnic Azeris were killed and 1 million were expelled from Karabakh. Hojali massacre was the largest mass killing of Azerbaijani civilians by Armenian forces in 1992. 613 civilians, including 106 women and 63 children, were killed during this massacre. Second Karabakh War took place from late September to early November 2020 between Armenia and Azerbaijan. It was the continuation of the long-standing conflict over the Karabakh region, which is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan. Ceasefire agreement was signed on November 9, 2020. Ar Armenia agreed to withdraw seven territories that it had controlled in 1994. Azerbaijan regained control over parts of the region except Hankandi and several cities in Karabakh. During this process, Russian peacekeepers played a key role in maintaining safety. The war resulted in Azerbaijan victory. Following the capture of Shusha, the second largest city in Karabakh, a ceasefire agreement signed. The third war lasted 24 hours. Despite Azerbaijan's consecutive calls and warnings, Armenians' 10,000 strong military personnel stayed in Karabakh and Armenia didn't take appropriate steps. Azerbaijan launched on September 19 to neutralize Armenian armed formations. The operation came on the heels of the attacks on the Azeri positions and the deadly mine incidents in the Hojavan district. On September 20, 2023, the agreement was reached after the Armenian army agreed to withdraw. After the ceasefire, several Armenian military equipment and ammunition found in civilian buildings used as warehouses were seized in various territories of the Karabakh. Hundreds of ethnic Armenians have fled to Armenia from Karabakh. Despite Azerbaijan's public announcements, there are ongoing fears about the residents of Karabakh. As of September 20, 21st and 23rd, several cities were controlled by Azeri soldiers. I hope peace and friendship between Azeris and Armenians can be built after this war. Thank you for watching for my channel. Please click to subscribe and like button to follow my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.